So in issue two of Simply Lettering, I'm looking at lots of different resist techniques for my masterclass. And this is one of the projects that I've done, and it's a beautiful heart in a frame, but I've actually done it with masking fluid, which is something that you can easily pick up on lots of websites, lots of craft stores, and it's absolutely wonderful. I think it's not used enough. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and how to use it with our Ecoline inks. So for this project, what I'm going to do is show you a monogram rather than the entire happiness comes from the heart project. Um, you have step by steps for that and a template in issue two of Simply Lettering. But for this, this really focuses on the technique of using masking fluid. So there's lots of masking fluids on the market. I'm actually using a Winsor & Newton one. And the very first tip I've got for you is never ever shake the bottle. It's quite a thick liquid. And if you shake this bottle, which is natural when you first pick something up, you want to just shake it to mix it all up. Um, you will get little air bubbles in here. And those air bubbles never seem to disappear and they will come out on your written letter or words. So first of all, don't shake that bottle. Now I have written my letter on here. I'm just doing an A. I've written that monogram on this. This is watercolor cardstock. Um, I've done it in very fine pencil. You may just be able to see it. And while I'm going over with the masking fluid, I'm actually going to go just the side of these lines as much as possible because of course once we peel off the masking fluid we are going to be able to see that pencil underneath and you'll need to find a very very fine eraser to get in the gaps to erase them so try to keep to the sides of those letters where your your ink your paint is going to go over the top so i'm going to take the lid off of my masking fluid very often it's a safety cap so it will be one that you need to press down and click and i'm going to dip my paintbrush into the masking fluid. Now please don't use a nice new expensive paintbrush for this because you will find that um, it will get gunked up quite quickly. So this is what we call a colourless masking fluid. So you're probably not going to be able to see very much here, but I am going to simply brush on the fluid where I need it. The great thing about this is you do have lots of wiggle room. So if you do make a mistake, the best thing to do, don't try to remove it when you make the mistake. Leave it to dry and then simply peel it off. It will turn to rubber as it dries and then it peels off most surfaces. So I'm going to apply this in little strokes around my pencil lines. Um, I'm going to do my thick and thin lines again, which is why I'm using a pointed tip round brush. So thin lines, because this would naturally be an upstroke. If you're not sure about where your thin and thick lines would be, if you want to get that brush look, just go over the letter, um, pretend to go over the letter with your hand. And wherever your hand is going in a downwards motion, that's where your thick lines will be. So I know that I would come down here naturally and that's where I'm putting a thicker line because I'm using a round brush I can actually press down with my bristles and that will naturally produce a thicker line for me if you're using a brush that doesn't have that flexibility that only does what we call a mono line one thickness you can go over and do the faux calligraphy style instead so I'm just coming off to a point here for the A and then I'm going to do my line through. I'm going to turn this round so I'm not putting my hand too much into what I've already done. A nice circle or a wider area for the part of the crossbar there at the end that will finish that off. And then just come across with a nice thin line crossing through the A. Now in a moment I'm going to leave this to dry and we'll come back when it is dry. It will take about five minutes to dry this off and I would always recommend if you can leave it to air dry rather than heat drying. If you heat dry it you'll have some bubbles that could form in it and that will affect how much it resists your wet mediums when you come to put those on. So just go around I'm just looking for any edges that aren't very very smooth neatening them up so if I just quickly wet my paintbrush now that's a good thing to do as well actually once you finish as soon as you finish dip your paintbrush into some water because if I show you here 
on the paintbrush we've got some residue around the end here and also on the very nib of the paintbrush you want to release that as soon as possible and we can see here already this has started to dry and it has turned into rubber but you'll have that in your bristles so you need to get some water in there and wash that out as soon as possible and this is why I said don't use your favorite brushes so hopefully here you can just see the light catching on that A there and I'm going to leave that to dry and then we'll come back to that in just a few minutes. So we've air dried this and while it was air drying what I also did is I popped a tiny little dot of masking fluid in the corner there. Now this is so that I can predict when this is ready to use so it's a little bit of a test piece. So what I can do now, now I think it's all dry, is I can just try to remove this by, by just rubbing my finger over it and we can see it's just lifting up. So if you can remove that piece of masking fluid without any residue on there at all, it's all come away, then you're ready to start applying your colour. If you, if you find that's still tacky and it's still sticking and leaves, leaving residue behind, leave your masking fluid a few more minutes because if you have it like that, you won't have a perfect seal between your masking fluid and the paper. So now we're going to go in and I've got three colours here. So I'm actually going to order these so they would go in the correct order. So I've got blue into green into yellow. And rather than doing a random look as I did with my my heart canvas which is happiness comes from the heart I'm going to do almost stripes here so we've done this with a previous technique where I'm just doing some very rough little um, water over the top not going properly to the edge because I quite like the loose watercolor look and this is just plain water with quite a large what we call a mop brush over the top and you'll already be able to see when you're doing this at home that that is the masking fluid is resisting the water so then we can go in so my first color being the blue now for this I'm actually going to just drip a little bit of the blue onto a damp brush because I don't want too much color on here it can really get quite highly pigmented I'm going to brush this across here which looks lovely then going to clean my brush and go with the next colour, do exactly the same. So just over the bottle, a couple of little drips into your paintbrush. And then I'm going to overlap my colour into the blue. And then lastly, I'm going to finish with my yellow. few drops there, a few more of the yellow because it is a lighter colour. We want to make sure we can really see it. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is you could either leave it to air dry or you can heat set this. If you do heat set it, do it from a distance, not too close, because if you do it too close, you're going to risk melting and bubbling the masking fluid, okay? Because it is like a like a rubber or a, almost a plastic material now. So I'll very gently heat set this or leave it to dry and then we'll come back when it's the big reveal. So now I've got this all dry, I have made sure it's nice and cool. If you have used a heat gun to speed up the process, just leave it a few minutes once it's dry to cool down because of course if this uh, masking fluid is warm it will affect how easily it will peel away you want it nice and cold so now we go back to the same as before with our little test piece just use your finger and just gently rub in strokes or circles and you'll find that it all starts to peel away beautifully so if I just lift that up you'll be able to see that we've got the rubber coming away from all angles which is lovely I love this bit it's very therapeutic most usually it'll all come off in one piece you see there there's my masking fluid that was on there and then there's my resisted area so this may not be a white color cardstock or paper that you're using it could be a colored one and those colors will then show through beautifully and as you can see if we if we look closely I, ha I can't see any pencil lines because I did keep my masking fluid just to the side of the pencil lines. 
So back to our main project, you can now see how I use the masking fluid to write the entire quote out and you do have the template for this quote, don't forget, inside simply lettering issue two. So use that template, write everything out in your masking fluid onto watercolour cardstock and then rather than just doing the um, splashing the water in the square or the circle, I just put the water in a heart shape instead. If you want to, you can use that masking fluid and you can actually draw the outline of the heart to make sure you don't get your ink any further than you want it to go. So a very simple project to do and have some fun resisting with masking fluid.